We made some little um, good improvements for me on the car uh, and I felt more comfortable to, to push and that's of course very important around here in, in Jeddah and especially then getting into qualifying everything was just uh, yeah just getting better and better you follow the track evolution and I didn't really have any big big problems so I'm of course very very happy with that. And what are you expecting from the likes of Charles, Sergio, Fernando in race trim? Yeah I mean uh, of course we just focus on ourselves I think yesterday already we could check a bit uh, how the car was handling over the long run. We made some more improvements for today, so hopefully, of course, it will work also also for the race. Quite happy. However, I f I felt like uh, since FP3 this morning, we lost something with the tire preparation, especially the tires didn't fill in the right window on the first lap. Quite inconsistent with the rear tires, and uh, this will have to uh, check in order to get better for the next race. However, it's uh, still a positive result. Another front. Uh, um, row and uh, hopefully we can uh, maximize all the points tomorrow. Not an ideal, an ideal qualifying because um, I felt like we took a step back from yesterday. Yesterday was a very positive day. I was feeling very comfortable with the car, but um, I don't know what has changed today. That uh, something I need to really t come on top of with, together with the team to understand uh, what has happened from yesterday. It was fantastic, I think, for us. Uh, the one lap performance seems very strong on, on this car. It was strong in Bahrain. It was strong in all the free practices here. And now in qualifying, we confirmed that we are uh, yeah, in the mix with, with uh, McLaren, with Mercedes, uh, which is a little bit of a surprise. In Bahrain, we were strong in one lap, and you know we finished on, a, on our natural position, maybe on the race, fifth fastest team behind the top four. So tomorrow we want to avoid that. Uh, we start P4 and hopefully we are not um, yeah, falling uh, behind the, uh, the Mercedes and the McLaren. I think that was pretty much the most we could have got out of that session. Um, the, the car felt pretty good. I felt like my, my driving was pretty good apart from when I was clipping walls. Um, so yeah, I think that's a pretty good session for us. I don't think we could have gotten much more out of it. So um, no, I'm, I'm leaving tonight happy. No, I'm happy. I think we got the most out of today. Uh, yeah, it was quite a big step on the last set of tyres um, because of we chose to go 4-2-1, so we're at a, a little bit of a disadvantage the whole session. But the one that we chose to have in a way, and um, I think we maximised it otherwise, so uh, a good day for us as a team. A little bit disappointed that I made a mistake on my new tyres at the end. My first lap in Q3 was really strong, used tyre, P4, um, the new tyre was two temps up and then just lost it at turn nine. So, uh, you know, kicking myself a little bit. I think a P4 was, was on the cards, um, you know, it wasn't meant to be. But we're still just learning about the car right now. We were showing really strong pace in practice in Bahrain. Lewis and I were P1 and P2, uh, slipped away from us there yesterday as P4, P3, um, and then slightly further down the order today. So, we just need to understand why that is and um, there is potential there, we just need to uh, dial into it. Very difficult day, very difficult uh, yesterday as well. Um, I was much happier in P3, the car was feeling better in P3, but um, got it back into qualifying and it was similar to yesterday, so uh, a real struggle, we lose out too much in that first sector. Yeah, I feel good, of course. Um, first uh, Q3 in the year and wasn't wasn't easy. It's very very tight as uh, as we as always, and uh, I think we maximized performance. So, yeah, uh, really happy. Exciting, always exciting here qualifying. Uh, you know, close to the walls, high speed. Um, yeah, it's fun. Should be in the mix for the points tomorrow. We saw a great recovery from you last time out in Bahrain, yeah. obviously. Yeah, I hope our race pace is good. Um, it's going to be all about tire management. You know, I woke up this morning focusing on my F2 race, starting P10 trying to, to think, you know, how can we maximize that? Um, and then, yeah, at some stage it was clear that, um, that I had to get in the F1 car. Um, what a great opportunity, of course. Huge, um, huge best wishes for, for Carlos and, and his recovery. Um, but it's, uh, it's a great, great uh, moment and, and opportunity for me and I'm ready to maximize it. Um, bit disappointed with the qualifying, but uh, overall I can't be too disappointed. It looked like you were really going for it out there. I mean, how do you feel in the car? And it was such a fine margin, wasn't it, to getting into Q3 at the end? Yeah, it was so close, so close. That's why it, it hurts a bit more. Um, I made a mistake on my first push, so I had to do it on the second, and the tyres aren't really the best there. So, um, 
my mistake and I'll, I'll take that one on the chin. I don't think we optimised the day, but, I, but I'm, I'm happy with my lap. I feel like we struggled a little bit with the tyres um, in the night time. Just getting them to work properly, and especially in sector one, the car was a little bit um, cold, getting up to speed. And then, um, yeah, maybe there's a little bit of lap time left on the table, but uh, otherwise, um, I'm happy. I feel like P12 um, is better than we expected going into the into the session itself. We can fight from there. I think as well, the fact that our car has been tricky to to warm up and get the tyres working actually helps us in the race a bit. We'll have a bit more of a raceable car. Yeah, I think it could have been a lot worse. Um, yeah, I think yesterday in FP2 in the cold conditions, it, it looked difficult for us on one lap. Um, seems like the cold conditions actually went against us, whereas uh, normally it's the other way around. So um, interesting, nonetheless. And, and P13, I think for tomorrow, it's uh, it's not too not too bad. Close to the points, and we can fight from that. Uh, not good, uh, but I think just not good. From a, there was uh, it kind of fell away from us, and uh, yeah, I think we we got out there and Q1 kind of the, the first uh, first couple laps were were okay. I think we knew. Uh, where there was some time, but then trying to get that time, it, uh, we simply just plateaued. Uh, even if I had another set now, I don't think I go any quicker, honestly. So uh, that's that's the little bit the confusing part for now. So we'll we'll have a look. Um, I think we have a couple ideas of where some some is, but uh, sure, uh, um, yeah, frustrating session. I had cuts of power. Um, I think the, the two team radioed already. That was related to fuel uh, fuel system. Uh, fuel not being delivered to the engine, which is obviously a problem. And uh, yeah, ask me to stop. And what about race day? How are you feeling about your race pace, potential to it's move not forward? Race day yet, a few hours, and it will be race day. And uh, we'll see. Uh, yesterday was okay, not not great, but uh, we did some, I think, decent setup work overnight. But we can't really, you know, test that until tomorrow, obviously. Okay session up until the last lap. Last lap was the one to get me through, but I hit traffic. It was not just one car, but two cars blocking the road. So. Um, quite clear impeding which is obviously as a receiving end is frustrating you know we were expecting a little bit better I think it was a little bit better than Bahrain uh, in general um, but we still lacked you know some pace uh, ultimately and that's why we are here today so uh, we'll keep pushing we'll keep our head high and, and keep going do you think the race pace could be any better yeah we're gonna go to the race you know fighting like uh, like no tomorrow like always you know and, uh, see what we we get uh, out of that race and uh, if it's just some data uh, that we will gather, uh, well, then we will gather it well and, and keep the work going. I can be seeing you, there will not be any uh, big change, uh, big change for the weekend. The car is the same. I think that now aside, we did a, a strong first run. Um, it, was a, it was a pretty strong lap on the second lap. Unfortunately, I had a, a massive snap and uh, just no rear grip from the start of the lap. So we'll have to to analyze for, for next weekend. We had a pretty terrible outlap on the second run and the, the tires were, were nowhere near ready. Um, so a bit to go around there. I um, think we could have could have got the run plan a little bit better to help that. Um, and honestly, I think that's probably what cost us. So yeah, disappointing. For my side, uh, obviously feel okay body-wise. Of course, quite a lot of G in that crash. Uh, very unexpected uh, one is almost flat out and uh, yeah just lost the rear i think maybe the the window was a bit tricky at that lap and yeah unfortunately it paid off for quality uh, very obviously close to getting out there or at least do a lap but unfortunately we couldn't make it today